Dirt and sand are to the Mojave as depression and anxiety are to my mind. That is to say, the Mojave is full of sediment, and I am in desperate need of therapy. Here it is, boys, for the challenge no one wanted. Can you beat Fallout New Vegas with only the con trick? I'll keep it real with you. I had no idea this perk existed until I watched TK's Mantis video on it. But once I saw it, I thought it'd be so goddamn funny to throw dirt in Benny's eyes until he died. Like, how fucked up would that be? Real quick. The con trick is an unarmed perk and technique that you learn by completing the Abba Dabba Honeymoon Quest, which is started in Red Rock Canyon. Once you obtain the perk, you do a power attack while moving to the side, and your character will pick dirt off the ground in order to throw it into your opponent's eyes. I believe it only works on human NPCs, and even affects characters who have shielding over their eyes. So we start our playthrough in the town of Good Springs. For stats, we are rocking a cool 10 strength because we want big punches, 9 endurance for taking more bullets through the noggin, 10 charisma because this is New Vegas, 8 intelligence because fuck perception, agility, and luck. Also for additional skill points on leveling. Now I want to just get the quest prerequisite out of the way, so I have three options. 1. Go the canon main quest route that no one does. 2. Through Black Mountain. 3. Casador Mukbang. Option 3 is the quickest way to Red Rock Canyon, only downside is all the Casadors and Raiders. Even in a normal playthrough without restrictions, this isn't a super viable option when considering survival. I definitely didn't attempt it thinking I'd save myself time. Definitely didn't try to beeline for the canyon. Absolutely did not get completely murderized by giant insects. That didn't happen, because if it did, I'd be a fool. I did the chat approach of making my way to Quarry Junction, sidestepping with the rad scorpions, ignoring the commie known as Schnuffles. The red scare is still among us. Fantasized about throwing dirt in Neil's eyes, because he isn't as cool as Fox. I grabbed the NCR uniform from a napping friend, as it would make getting into Vegas, for lack of a better term, easy as fuck. After discovering Cat McCarran, I decided to take a hard left. I can avoid most of Fiend territory if I just- Holy fucking shit, look at this guy go. Once arriving at Red Rock Canyon, I immediately looked for Jack and Diane, your lovely neighborhood drug dealers. I asked Diane for some work, and now starts Abba Dabba Honeymoon. I was tasked to find their lost friend Anders, who went missing after searching for trade route options to Arizona, I think. So now I fast travel to Repcon headquarters, make my way to I-88 and headed for Cottonwood Cove. Unfortunately, fate decided to step in. I was attacked by some hooligans, but some legion men saved me as I passed a Nelson. I now found myself in debt to a bunch of men wearing skirts and football pants in an attempt to cosplay as Romans. Fate is a cruel mistress, but now this is officially a Legion playthrough. No maxis like in the minigun video. I fast traveled to Good Springs to get healed. I gave him 50 caps up front and then did some spring cleaning because I'm just a good guy like that. Then continued from Nelson and finished my journey to Cottonwood Cove. I found Anders who was just hanging around. <laughs> yeah, we do comedy here. I let him down. That'll be a normal occurrence. I decided it'd be a good idea to get some levels. I donned my soldier cosplay and took the pain train into the strip, got harassed by Hal, and then waltzed into the tops. I don't have a weapon, so no need to worry about a holdout check. I didn't have the means to kill Benny, but I did get experience for getting an item done for my bucket list. Number 63, find Chandler from France. I used the experience to up my speech and confronted Benny now as opposed to later. Using my newfound powers of persuasion, I told Jack he alone is responsible for all the overdosing in the Mojave, and if he keeps it up, he too will be doing a bad karma playthrough, and there's only room for one of us. Now I had to deliver some drugs to the Crimson Caravan, to a man by the name of Don. I don't know anything about him, but from my short interaction and his hat, I know for sure this man is a cuck. Next was delivering drugs to the fiends. Motor Runner needed a fix, so I became the mule. Running through the lasers, I began pondering over some scenarios. Has a gamer ever had a seizure from their RGB keyboard? Was that one episode of Pokemon made to intentionally give children seizures, or was it a genuine mistake? I don't know. There's one for you conspiracy nuts. After dropping off the goods, I fled fiend territory. I got chased by the locals, but Driver Nafai fought them off like a hero. He sacrificed himself for me. Or 
because he was in a drug-induced rage and thought they took his good shit. I believe the latter. I returned to Red Rock Canyon once more. Now all that's left is to gain some levels in science and teach Jack how to cook that good shit. Naturally, I joined a gang. Elvis wanted me to handle some business, so that's what I did. Here's what I says to him. Oris, more like I can't deal damage to him, so I had to do this quest legitimately for the first time in 10 years. After begrudgingly having to let Oris not have broken legs, the king told me to do more errands. But like Wilbur Soot, let's get to the good bit. The NCR squatters and Freeside locals aren't getting along. So as is the natural progression of things in video games, I, a complete stranger, had to solve internal problems. While I was here, I decided to recruit Arcade Ganon. He'll be a surprise tool that will help us later. I did the classic New Vegas maneuver and speed checked my way into getting through the NCR soup kitchen. Then reported back to the king. Pacer decided he was going to be everyone's problem, so I did the classic New Vegas maneuver and speech checked my way into peace. If you're not familiar with New Vegas, a charisma build is literally just Naruto Shibudu. Big Man Elvis was so impressed by my labors that he paid me. What a foreign concept. Once more, I mad dashed to Jack. I became the Walter to his wife, the breaking to his bad, the, I don't know, I've never seen the show. I taught him to make drugs. Finally, I unlocked the con trick, meaning I can now engage in combat. I tested my new powers on Andrews. I felt like Tobey Maguire in that one movie with Tobey Maguire. Now it was time to go visit Chandler at Caesar's tent. But first, I should speak to the host of the party. He seemed angry at first, uh, like he wanted to force his entire being into my mouth and wear me as a skin suit pajama. But I've seen his type before. I know I can change him. He tasked me with going into his basement and destroying whatever's down there. So I did. I sped through the dialogue options with House. I'm a taken man after all. As I run through the robots and destroy the bunker, I need to explain something. This is a scuffed run. To the point that you can validate the challenge if you wish. Contrick is fully animated, all except for having actual dirt thrown, which I believe is true for all versions of the game. But through my entire playthrough, I wasn't able to get the effect of stunning an opponent. Maybe the Xbox version of New Vegas has a bug that doesn't allow it to work? Because of this snafu, I ended up using the move as a means of essentially just doing power attacks, but with an awkward animation. I'm sorry if this disappoints you, but if you know me, I am full of disappointments. Also, I use a 10mm pistol to destroy the generators. Unfortunately, this isn't D&D. I can't roll a nat 20 to destroy the generators with my awkward movements. I returned to Caesar. He rewarded me with Benny's demise. I'm a man of my word. I want to throw dirt, albeit invisible dirt, into Benny's eyes. So that's what I did. Slowly but surely. Gently, but not really. I accomplished my life's ambitions. Kind of. Without the effect of stunning enemies, the con trick is underwhelming. So let's make it not so shitty. I bought a power fist and tested it immediately. Instant devastation. I was powerful, I was unstoppable, I was invincible, I was dead. It was time to put some dirt in Robert House's eyes. It was time to put some dirt in Robert House's eyes. I ran to the Lucky 38, fisted the robots. I took the glove off and smacked the stick of beef jerky that is Mr. House. I want you, the viewer, to think about how this must have looked from House's point of view. I imagine it's similar to the torture dance scene from JoJo. My new goal is to persuade the boomers to join the Legion. I wanted to kill George, as is the norm, but he ran and he didn't look back. Not a single bit of artillery came for me. It's safe to assume George was a friend. I got escorted to the big boomer and remembered I hate the boomers. So I eradicated Pearl, hunted the old man, and the lovesick punk. Love bug Caesar was having a headache, so I offered him some ibuprofen, but he smacked it out of my hand. He's cute like that. I was now tasked with recruiting the cannibals. I can't think of any good jokes for this segment, so here's a quick recap. Trust fund baby cowboy was meant to be eaten, but that didn't happen. I kidnapped some other trust fund baby who wasn't a cowboy, fed him to the cannibals instead. The cannibals now support the Legion. The Brotherhood of Steel is next. There's no option to assimilate them into the Legion, so naturally the next best course of option is... is to blow up their home, turn their bunker into a tomb with all of them in it. Some may call this an act of terrorism, but I'm positive I saw something like this on Pinterest once, so it's like cute home decor, you know? We had some trouble in paradise. Caesar's headaches were getting severe and he needed help. Remember that surprise tool I talked about earlier? Time to grab Arcade and force him into a situation he will hate. I'm sure he'll forgive me someday. After all, being enslaved by a raging sociopath can't be that bad, right? The main quest is nearing an end. It is finally time to take care of Kimball. I made my way to Hoover Dam, but got stopped by the NCR's best. I love the over-the-top dialogue they have. Anytime I start to think the NCR could be cool, these guys bring me back to reality. 
We got into it, and honestly, it seemed pretty hopeless, until once more, fate saved me. Ironically, the menace that kept me from getting to Red Rock Canyon faster ended up giving their life so that I may throw dirt. Let's take a moment to remember our fallen comrades from this playthrough. George, Driver Neffy, and Casador number 4, you will be missed. It was time to cripple the NCR. I am, after all, the most competent member of the Legion. Caesar's little cutie patootie. His Stockholm baby. I plotted the assassination, but I can't use a sniper rifle and therefore can't utilize the towers. I also don't have the explosive skill to convince Buddy that I can handle big boy booms. I can't use a minigun to shoot down the vertebrate either. My only option was to be a man, charge the president, and throw dirt in his eyes. I'm sorry I keep using this joke, Tobey Maguire memes just keep me young. Anyways, um, yeah, apparently, running at the president, who is guarded by what is essentially Secret Service, uh, well, it doesn't go well. Who knew? Eventually, I had to give up. This wasn't a battle I could win. I fled. Lucky for me, I had the favor of Caesar. He didn't have me crucified for my failure. What a swell guy. This is it. The final stretch. Bases are loaded. I've got the football, and it's time to use my five iron to score a turkey. I bought some meds. I bought some armor. I appreciate the glitchy lights outside of New Vegas. They look like if Dumbledore was fidgeting with his deluminator and just said fuck it halfway. Ten years of playing this game, and I'm still finding new things wrong with it. That's the Bethesda magic we love. I met with the Leggett and led the charge against the NCR. Although I couldn't stun them, I did concuss them to the point that they were no longer able to move or breathe. It was fairly easy to cut through their defenses. Having a mechanical arm and an army made the experience pretty stress-free. Until I met my match, an NCR heavy trooper equipped with a super sledge. This absolute mad lad turned me into an air hockey puck. I had to time my attacks just to stand a chance. It legitimately took a minute to best this NPC, which doesn't sound like a long time, but most one-on-one -on -one encounters in Fallout only take a fraction of that time. Finally, I laid eyes on General Oliver. I was determined to chase him down and end the scuffed playthrough for good. One by one, his men fell. I left a trail of blood in my wake. I nearly killed myself from traps, and in my frustration, I ran to the general's office, falling right into his ambush. After dancing for a bit, I realized one of the troopers had a super sledge, and honestly, that was enough for me to submit. I know it would be completely possible to beat them all if I just reload the game, manage my meds, and fight them as I found them, as opposed to leaving them all to one corner to beat me to death. But why would I do that when I have charisma? I reloaded my game and convinced the general that everything he knows and loves is forfeit. And with that, I kind of beat Fallout New Vegas with the con trick. <laughs> uh, still not sure if I'm inept or if the game was bugged. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.